Some months ago, my uh, agents were nagging me about being on social media. They say that casting directors do the majority of the casting off social media today. I told them, I'm too old for social media. If casting directors want to see me, they need to call me in for an audition. Because I am a classically trained actor. Auditioning makes me comfortable. But after six months and no auditions, I realized that I'm being called out of my comfort zone. I need y'all to take your phones out. And lift them up and reach them forward. Yes. That's my new Instagram page. Follow me and get 2% off next month's class. Uh, Luke? Yes. You have something for me? Um, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. Here you go. Sorry about that. You owe me for two months classes and six privates. Yeah. Is there anyone here for the first time? Stand up. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is, uh, Kieran Harris. Welcome, Kieran. Class, you know what to do. Welcome, Kieran. Hey. All right. Let's get started. Okay, warm-ups. Monosyllabic sounds. Kieran, you know what those are? This is my first time in class. Here at the... Arnold School of Drama. We have a come-as-you-are policy. It's an easy game. We play to warm up. When I point to you, just make a monosyllabic sound. Say it with me. Monosyllabic sounds. Which are sounds with only one syllable. That's right. Don't worry. You, you'll catch on. Shoop. Shoop. Ba. Do. I see what you did there. Points for being right, even when you're wrong. Uh, moving on, who hasn't done their monologue yet? Lynn, come on up. Enough to do what? You cannot pay me enough to be smelling motherfuckers' feet all day. You could be making a lot more money than you are making up in here if you just use what you got to get what you want. Stop making these jump changes. End the scene. Lynn. Why did you choose that particular monologue? Actually, you said we should challenge ourselves. See, this is why I say take notes. Because what I said was, as children, we are taught to conform to societal norms. It's how we're conditioned. We have to challenge ourselves to overcome that conditioning. That is how we become good actors. Come down. All right. Someone share their notes with her so she can use the translation app thing. So moving on. Oh, Kiran, do you have a monologue you'd like to share with us? Uh, I don't know no monologues. Do you know any poetry? Oh. You know rap, don't you? Yeah. 
some of that stuff is poetry. So come on down, let's see what you got. Like right now? Yes. Give them some inspiration. Come on, class. Look, I was raised in the hood until my mama went to nursing school and showed me what a little vision and work could do. My best friend auntie was a prostitute and caused a pull up and visits was conjugal. She had been with all kinds of people. Why did you choose that song? Because it's my boy song. So your friend wrote that song? Yeah. And why is it your friend? Just say the first thing that comes to your mind. Because he real. He from Houston like me, and we know the same struggle. We've been through the same things. So it'd be fair to say that in many ways, his story is your story. Yeah, I guess so. Do it again, except this time, don't rap. Just say the words, but own them. Look, I was raised in the hood until my mama went to nursing school and showed me what a little vision and work could do. My best friend auntie was a prostitute. Them cars would pull up, them visits was conjugal. She had been with all kind of dudes. Had my mind all kind of confused. Was just a good diver, color miner, trying to make it through. And the atmosphere of the bohemians was so egregious. I got appeasement from using thesis I didn't agree with. Like, we don't leave. Told me we stuck here, boy. Like, we all adhesive. Good job. All right, let's break for lunch. See you all in 30 minutes. Yeah.